Hello again. Um, we're on page 55, and now we're in part two. Hope you enjoyed the introduction with the pizza. And yes, I am feeling much better, thank you. Um, we're working with finding equivalent fractions, and we're gonna get down now to the math that you have to do uh, for the assignment. So what I've done here is I've created uh, a diagram, uh, a picture, and imagine, if you will, I have 10 marbles, and five of them are yellow. I think you would agree that if I have five out of 10, that I have half the marbles. If I have four marbles, and two of them are yellow, again, two-fourths, two out of the four, I think you'd agree that I have half the marbles. And of course, the simplest, if I have two marbles, and one of them is yellow, I think you, again, can see that I have half the marbles. And interestingly, even though I'm increasing the number of marbles, four marbles, 10 marbles, here I have half, here I have half, and here I have half. So what we have going on here is equivalent fractions. Now, to, to do this with just the numbers, there's a couple things you can do. One thing is, is that you can multiply both the denominator and the numerator as long as you multiply it by the same number, and that's going to give you an equivalent fraction. Watch. So if I take three and multiply it by two, that will give me six. As long as I do it to the top as well, that's perfectly fine. And so two thirds will get me four sixths. And you can see if I multiply this by three and this by three, Look what happens, six over nine. And two thirds and six over nine are the same. They're equal, they're equivalent. Here, times four, times four, eight over 12. And you can see the progression here. These fractions are gonna wind up being the same, okay? Except I made a mistake here. That's not equal. These two are equal. This one, is not, we'll take him out. But if I double this one and double this one, that does four times two is equal to eight, and six times two is equal to 12. Excuse me? Apologize for the mistake there. Now, you can also go the opposite direction where you divide. And if you divide 12 by two, that'll give you six. If you divide 30 by two, that'll give you 15. If you divide by three, divide by three, you can see that you get an equivalent fraction. And it's totally cool to divide a fraction as long as you divide it same number top and bottom. Now, one thing we'll talk about cool and not cool. It's cool to divide or multiply by the same number, okay? so. Let's multiply, let's say, by two, okay? That's totally fine. I'm gonna multiply by two. Answer, 12, 18. That's correct. But it is not cool to multiply the one and not the other. Do you see my mistake here? I've multiplied by two here, but I haven't multiplied by two here. So this is not a correct answer. So as you're doing your exercises, just watch out for that. And good luck. It won't stop. It's low battery, I'm trying to stop it, but it won't. <laughs> That's okay, I can always trim it. <laughs> oh, you just have to kill the low battery first. So, so you kill oh, the low okay. battery, the and then